First play of the game, Dick Pannon, 88 yards for a touchdown. Everybody in the Notre Dame secondary was on the ground. And he just, all he had to do was run right up to middle and he go on 88 yards. And Michigan State's inability to accurately and successfully throw that football has really killed them here in the second half. By going through the last uh, 15 years, you could say that so often in these contests. McAllister throwing to Ryzen and it's caught at the 35 of USA. Which now looms as the biggest play. Way up in the air for grabs. Michigan State has it. And they now can genuinely celebrate. The Big Ten has come to Pasadena and will go home a winner. The fact that it's a strong guy that's going to try and jack him up a little bit. <laughs> Here's the okay. big flicker. Burke looking deep. He's looking for Burris. He's got it. Burris at the 20. Plexico Burris inside the 10. They'll mark it at the 1. He was working against James Whitley, a pickup of 68 yards. And they convert again on third down. Only five to go this time. Hoyer, another strike. A first down and much more. Blair White trying to break away. Harrison, the only man to catch him, and Brandon Wong. Touchdown for the Spartans. 61 yards. So first down at the Wisconsin 30. The toss to Teague was going to be an end around. It's still Erasmus James broke it up. Now there's a man open. It's Teague. He'll score. Unbelievable. A play that looked like it was a disaster waiting to happen ends up being a Michigan State touchdown. Aaron Alexander, 30-yard touchdown to Teague. He's got two men uh, flanking him to the left and right. They're upfield, though, and Robbins gets the snap and really booms one with the win. Back to the 13. Morris grabs it there, goes to his left, gets a block, leaps over a man, up the sideline, 20, 25, 30. He's going to go all the way. Bobby Morris to the 40, the 30, being chased by Cochran at the 15. Cochran dives, can't get it, and Morris goes in for a touchdown. 87 yards by Bobby Morse, and the Spartans lead it 13 to nothing. They're going to go for it on fourth and one. Essentially, this is the game. Stanzi. Green is stopped in the backfield by Adam Decker. And 0 for 3 last week is 3 for 3 this week, including a career-long 50-yarder. This one from 44 and the win. And with the win at his back, Swenson splits the uprights. Michigan State leads for the first time today. This will be a 47-yard attempt by Dan Conroy out of a Mike Sadler hole. Conroy to try to give Sparty the lead back on the way and good. Watch this closely. Here's the punt formation. Alice Duckett comes in from the left. He jumps up in the air about four feet. He gets the ball. He blocks the punt, and he gets the ball into the end zone for a Michigan State touchdown, and this was very definitely uh, the turning point of the ball game. Let's see whether or not the Irish go after him. Burke rolls it out. Has a little time. Wants to go deep. Burris is out there, and Burris has got it, and he's on his way. He
coming for Notre Dame. And the pass is complete. Rodgers, race to the end zone. Touchdown! Now they want to use as much time as possible. If a touchdown ensues, great. Otherwise, look for the short field goal. But Duckett's got other ideas. He's in! Touchdown! from 11 yards out puts Michigan State in front. They pass Chris Spielman, Urban Meyer, Quinn Kesnick on the field. Here is a blitz, and Robinson throws a pick. Intercepted by Isaiah Lewis to the house. Touchdown, Spartans. His second interception return for a touchdown this season. 39 yards on the return. Michigan State trying to keep this drive alive and not have to settle for a field goal try. Touchdown! A back shoulder throw to Benny Fowler and Andrew Maxwell with a perfect pass. And the sellout crowd is stunned. finish for Michigan State's offense. So here is fourth down and Jermaine takes it deep, throws Miller intercepted! Hill's got it! Ronaldo Hill! 1-12 to kill on the clock as Ronaldo Hill picks off the pass intended for D. Miller. And the Buckeye fans in Columbus are stunned. It is the fifth Ohio State turnover of the game. Tony from the shotgun. Stepping up to throw. Fired at his tap, and Caught falling down by Mason. That's a great grab at the 25-yard line. Woodson tapped it, but Derek Mason cradled it and pulled it in. Tony Banks to throw with time. Now rolls to his right. Fires deep. Looking for Nigeria. Got him for a touchdown. Touchdown. To Nigeria for the score with a minute and 24 to go. He went topside for 25 out of a great scramble. In the red zone, Oregon, first and 10. Ho Ching. Carries 90 yards for Jeremy Langford. Second and two at the 26. Lip it in motion. They'll give it straight ahead. Langford!
The fullback right straight ahead, and the Spartans say didn't get it. Michigan State will take over on the 34-yard line. Kyler Ellsworth, one of the Mike linebackers who replaced Bulla here today, he's in on this play. How about that for the youngster who came to Michigan State as a walk-on originally in the biggest game of his career. A 43-yard attempt. Callahan just missed from 46 earlier. 44-yard attempt officially. Michigan State out of timeouts. The kick is blocked. It's picked up. Michigan State's got it. Williamson is pushed out of bounds in Baylor territory at the 44-yard line. The Spartans are alive here at Arlington and a chance to win the game now. Trailing by six with a minute 05 remaining. He caught it on one. Pass on fourth down. Here's Cook on third down. To the end zone. It's a touchdown. Keith Mumford ties the game at 41. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead. An incredible last five minutes here in Arlington. It only takes one. And here the Irish find themselves with a one-point lead, and it's fourth and ten, Michigan State. Smoker across the middle. He's got Hager on the run. Look at him go. Might take it. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Michigan State. Michigan State in front. Unbelievable. Scordani now has 51 yard punt average, two kicks of over 50. Woody Hayes, the coach now. And Michigan State now must try from its own 12 yard line, first and 10. Mike Curtin Jones to the left. that he's a 9-8 sprinter, 212 pounds. He looked like a 9-4 sprinter on that touchdown run. They only need three to win. Caper, cutting it back. Caper, breaks the tackle, got a first down, to the house, touchdown! Michigan State has won!
Blair Walsh to send us to a fourth overtime. It is blocked! It is blocked! Spartan Michigan State sends its senior class out with a bowl win. I think they're going to ice him this time. I think we'll get a snap. Bill Burke waits for the snap at the 29-yard line right hash. A 39-yard try. He gets it down. The kick is in the air and on the way. And he hits it! He hits it! Paul Edinger splits the uprights. The Spartans win the Citrus Bowl. 37-34 and they're mobbing Paul Edinger down on the field. A very deep defensive set for the Badgers. I said, Three safeties go back inside the 10-yard line. I said Nick Toon, but they put Jared Abradaris back there instead. Three-man rush. Cousins. On the last play of regulation, chucks it to the end zone. Caught. Michigan State's caught it on a rebound. Touch. Hold on, it is just short of the end zone. Instant replay will take a look at this. The Spartans caught the ricochet. They want the touchdown. Instant replay will have to decide now. After further review, the runner did cross the line. The goal line touchdown. touchdown, Michigan State. With a miracle ending. Team is running toward the student body. A one-time quarterback, Keith Nickel, catches the ball for the first time tonight and is able to battle and get the ball across the goal line. As I think down. you run, Duckett. I think you do too. Because it doesn't matter. This is the last play of the well, game. Well, he's not going to run Duckett. They're going to set him out. <laughs> Might be quarterback draw. That's what you wonder. Will they get the quarterback draw? They spread the defense. Here's Smoker looking for it. High. Oh. Touchdown, Michigan State does it. Duck it. Duck it. The Spartans have set the Wolverines. Sack. And uh, Dan Conroy, number four, standing right next to his coach. It's all on his leg. Well, he made a 50-yarder last week against Florida Atlantic, but that was in Ford Field, indoors, up in Detroit. This is going to be a 46-yard field goal attempt. To try to send it to a second overtime. Conroy. It's a fake. Bates is going to throw. He's got a touchdown. Michigan State wins it in overtime. The call of the year. Two smiles say it all. One's a happy smile and one's a, are you kidding me? You called that. Oh, wow. Aaron Bates to Charlie Gant. I know we're only three weeks into the season, but if you see any more guts than that the rest of the year, give me a call. Wow. O'Neal's been 
terrific with the rugby style punts. But you have to be careful here. Make sure the snaps on target. Which you can't allow a block and I. There's nobody back deep for Michigan yep. State. I was going to say you might want to kick it out of bounds to prevent a return, but with nobody back there, just kick it down the field. Tell your punter to one step it. Don't take your normal steps. One step it. Get it out. Whoa, he has trouble with the snap, and the ball is free. It's picked up by Michigan State's Jalen Watts Jackson, and he scores on the last play of the game. Unbelievable. What just happened? What the hell just happened? 